Greetings and salutations, I am Keb. Welcome to this let's play of Europa Universals 4. Um, it is on the patch day, basically, of the 1.18 patch, the Prussia patch and the Rights of Man expansion. And we're gonna start a new game. Um, so how I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do this this time, I'm gonna start a single player game and I'm gonna hit the random nation button until I get one of the tags that I lack achievements for. There are about 75 of them, and quite a big mix of them, some like big ones like France and Aragon have achievements, Naples has gotten some new achievements, but you also have the small and weak ones like the ones for Theodoro, or Nagaur, or Yukyu, and I like quite a lot of achievements, so this could become a challenge if I get one of the smaller tags, we'll see. So let's just start with the random nation button and see where we end up. I don't have any unique achievements left for Gelre, so not that one. I don't believe I have one for Traskan either, because all the achievements in this area belong to the Aztec. And again, I'm only going for the ones that specify the, the countries, not any generic, rather more generic ones, so... Mzab? No, I believe Pezan has some tied directly to them, but not Mzab. Castile? No, we haven't gotten all the ones for Castile. And no, not anyone from Madagascar. Congo! Well, we, we haven't done African power, so I guess that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be tribal. And see if we can somehow swing this. So, Congo it is. Uh, do, 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 do we have all the settings done? I believe we do. Normal difficulty, historical machinations, all that fun stuff. Uh, da, da, da. Not gonna go with the randomized new world, though that could be interesting. I don't think we need. Uh, don't think that will affect the achievement for Congo, but uh, yeah, we're gonna play with the normal world. So Congo it is, and we're definitely gonna switch over to Iron Man. Uh, da, 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 da. All these zero one, just in case we have to do this multiple times. You never know. Um, yeah, start Iron Man. Here we go. I just have to check if there are any other achievements beyond. Uh, let's see now. We're definitely gonna go for. Uh, oh my! Let's see, Congo, Congo. I wonder if something's wrong here, because I'm not seeing... Oh, there we go. There's African power. Own and have cores on all provinces in Africa as Congo. So that's what we're going to push for. So, why do we have this one listed? Hmm. I assume we have the Coptic Nation one listed because we could, in theory, become Coptic. Which could be kind of interesting. Uh, da, 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 da. There are quite a few more generic ones. That one should probably be within our grasp. We are going to be a fetishist nation, for a while at least. And I don't think we're going to be able to restore the Roman Empire, not as Congo. Um, what else? One faith ain't going to happen. But we'll see. Uh, we'll see. Okay, so we are fetishist radio. Right, How does this work again? I have not played in Africa since they've switched over to the fetishist fates. Uh, local missionary strength. Oh, doesn't that mean they can convert us easier? Ah uh, well. Um, yeah, cults, cults, cults. We can pick a deity, though we only have three choices right now. We can be friendly to people, we can tolerate fetishism more, or we can do go discipline. And this... Can we gain my body? Okay... Hmm... Bordering fetishist nations with cults adopted and interactions with nations of other regions. Religions, yeah. Um, wait a second, does that mean that it's not just gathering land, you actually have to be at peace with others? Ooh. That could be ugly. Because I kind of want to expand. And we have the new uh, 
abdication and disinherit up our buttons. Not really going to do anything. Oh my, we start out with two pretty good traits. That's nice. We start out with 10% ext extra trade efficiency. Better relations over time. That's good. The monarch isn't that bad either. The air isn't terrible. But I would love, I'd like to add more admin skill, but yeah. What can you do? And of course, technology has completely changed. Um, yeah, we lack feudalism, right? Show institutions. Yeah, but is it actually spreading? No, I don't think it is. Or is it? We are coastal, but it doesn't look like it's spreading here. Um, is there a new map mode for this? There must be. There is always a map mode. There we go, institutions map mode. Oh, it was that same thing we saw, I guess. Yeah, none of the neighbors have feudalism either. So they're kind of stuck in the same position we are. Uh, as for everything else, let's see. First of all, improve our prestige, improve relations with the TO, which is probably what we're going to go for. TO, TO, TO. That's you, okay. Incorporate Loango. So we start out with... Hmm. Let's see. We start out with two subjects. Luango and Dongo are both our subjects. That's good. That means these three are nations we can strike at. There are no possible rivals. We're simply too strong, apparently. Okay, that's bad. We can't really gain anything from that. Congo's ideas. We start out with extra trade efficiency and less land attrition. And if we embrace everything, we get relations over time. Until then, we have tax multiplier. That's good. Chance of New Year is actually also decent. Military tech cost. That one's going to be useful. Uh, diplomatic reputation. Yeah. It's fine, I suppose. Provincial trade power mod. Ooh, infantry combat ability. I like that, but it's only 5%. 10% production efficiency and 5% discipline. Well, not entirely bad, not entirely good either. Of course, we start at tech level 2 instead of 3. So we're going to be pretty far behind on tech for a long time. So yeah, uh, also we... Oh, oh, wait a second, are we... We're a tribal government then. Yeah, we're a tribal kingdom. Ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. Yeah, that's kind of bad. So in order to do that, we have to reform the government. And to reform the government, we now have to do what? We need to reform our religion? How do we do that as fetishists? Because that is, <laughs> that is news to me. Um, how do we do that? As, yeah, I don't know. We'll find out. So beyond that, we have to have stability. That's fine. Administrative that power. Administrative power, yeah, that's fine. Um, and we have to get either economic, innovative, or administrative ideas filled out. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. And for the uh, events, what do we need for those? Stability plus one to get divination. Same, and a better admin ruler for sacrifices. That's not gonna happen for a while then. And theologian for this one. Yeah. Yeah, and of course, we still start out with the rather bad units as well. Hmm. And yeah, they changed a lot of menus now. I'm trying to just to um, reacquaint myself here. Quite a few more changes here. Ah, defensive. Interesting. That one could be useful to use at some t at times. Uh, can we exploit this though? They have uh, fifty percent loyalty, only twenty percent influence. This one's giving ten influence, which is not enough for them to do any of the others.
That'll bring them up to 30 influence. We need to bring them up to 75 if we're to get the maximum boost. So you can gain 25 from there, 10 from that. And so we can only get them up to, what, 55? Well, that's not enough. Suppose we could give them land, that, though... Do you want to do that this early? Estates, estates, where are you? There you go. Now this has got all the new two. Interesting. Rather nice, a nice little interface now, if I can only... Let's see what we're reading, reading into this. That's... Is that the autonomy or is that... Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what these values are. This is a state, so it's not... Uh, Okay, so it is autonomy. 50% autonomy. 27. Okay, so the estate. No. Let's see. Now the top number is. The lower number, I mean, is autonomy. The top number is. I assume how much influence they'll gain if you grant them the territory. And there you are the values. Okay, so. We don't lose that much in giving away the top province here, I suppose. Sure, do I want to just tank my... Tank everything in order to get points, that's the question. I mean, we're gonna need the points, there's no doubt about that. Um, and of course, given that we are have the institution's tech penalty, we're gonna be far behind. Yeah, like, look at that, plus 50% just for the tech penalty. So, yeah, 900 points. Technically, we're better off than we were but once, but uh, or were before the patch, I suppose, but still not particularly good. So, I don't know. Do we want to sacrifice these provinces? <laughs> England has the most trade power. Okay, interesting. Um, yeah, do we want to sacrifice... Our income here. Technically, we're not making much money. Yeah, heck with it. Let's do this. Uh, seek the support of the clergy. It's gonna bring them rather, make them rather happy. Uh, but not enough. To do this, they have to have 40 influence or greater. They only have 30, so we have to give them, let's see, how much. If we want to take both of these guys, that will give us 25 influence. That's 55, so we need something that gives them about... Yeah, so that's 55, about 20% influence, and uh, not more. Da -da. Where is that? There, there we go, estates. Ugh. 20%, that's pretty much this province. So, clergy, sure, you take control of this province, that is fine, you're now very loyal, and we're gonna recruit the minister, and the inquisitor, and that puts you over the limit, so we get 150 points, and you'll still be plenty happy. So, merchants! Can we do the same thing for you? We can get you up to 25 doing that. And that's not gonna be enough. You're gonna need some land as well. But how much? Uh, by taking these, Mr. That's 20, 35. 35 and 15 is 50. Plus monopoly charges at another 10, so that's 60. So that around 15%. Promise with around 15% to the merchants. If I could just click the right button. There we go, estates. 
So I suppose we could give this or... No, that would not be enough. So this one had to go to the merchant guild. Not exactly ideal, but... Or can't we? Oh, it doesn't have enough development. So it, the only promise we could give is this. And that would bring them way above. Hmm. Well, let's do it. The loyalty increases dramatically. Power to 46. Let's do that for now. And 46, we need that to boost to a bit more. So I suppose we'll grant Admiralship to 66 and then uh, Monopoly Charters, that's another 10. Then we demand their diplomatic support for all the points. And then we rob them blind. There we go. Nobility, you I can't really do as much with. That will bring up to 63. do that anyway, so, so 63%, around 12%. That's all we want you to get, really. I suppose 15 is okay. So sure, we'll recruit a diplomat. 78%, that should give us lots of points. There we go. So now we have some points to play with. Our missions are pretty much sucky all around. I'm not going to be able to gain much prestige. That's going to take way too long. I suppose we'll go with improve relations with Tio. And we will do so. Okay, so, as for cults. But the looks of it, I think we're going to go with the discipline. I think that's going to be useful in the short run. And we're definitely going to switch admin to admin focus. Can we afford anything in terms of advisors? We do have a bit of money. No oh mind, no, no, no. These cost way too much. And the entire country is fetishist, right? Yeah, no worries there. And we probably... Come to think of it, can we vassalize these guys? I don't think they are small enough for that. Nope, they're not. So, who do we want to attack, huh? They are rivals to Lunda. So are they. Everybody hates Lunda. And everybody wants to be my friend. Ah, that ain't gonna happen, buddy. Uh, I'm very unfamiliar with this area. Cultures. Are there any provinces that I should grab? Simply because they are in the same culture group. Uh, that's pretty much everything in inwards. Oh well. I mean, we want to get up there and conquer as well, but I think our <laughs> first expansion will have to go inland and then we'll push upwards as soon as we are able. And other than that, I think we'll have to wait for Portugal to show up. Okay, so you, sir. I'm sorry to say, you're going to be our first target. So, we're going to start building up some spy networks there. Don't have many troops. Uh, it's going to take a while to, for us to go to war. Ooh! Yeah, we're going to be paying quite a lot in cavalry upkeep, aren't we? Ah, I forgot to check our free general. Well, that's the admiral. Uh, yeah, we don't need you. Away with you. And that would just be a random general. I don't really want to use this guy in combat, to be honest. Um, can we afford a leader? 
Well, the tax modifier guy should be okay. I assume that we're making the most in taxes. Yeah, fine. So him, definitely. Can we afford something else? That's the question. Their reputation would be nice. An army morale would definitely be nice. Uh, ha -ha. I'd go with the army before anything else, to be honest. Because we're probably going to be fighting quite a lot. And we have ships. We do have some cogs, but let's face it, where are we going to go with them? We can't explore, we can't do anything. They're pretty much just dead weight, but... Uh, yeah, do I want to keep them? How much are they going to cost us? They probably shouldn't cost us too much. Um, I mean, they have no mission. Uh, mothball, mothball, where is the button? Um, there we are. I was starting to wonder if they remove the button. Okay, you're gonna be mothballed. You're gonna hopefully protect trade. I don't know if you can. You can. Excellent. As for merchants, there isn't much for us to do. Can we even reach the interior here? Okay, so we have no one collecting up there. Oddly enough, we don't have anyone. Oh, okay, so fine. This is our main trading port. Ah. We might want to switch that around, but nah. That's going to take a while before we're able to. Yeah, I'll unpause at some point, sorry. <laughs> so much I want to do. That's just how it goes. Um, oh my. Missing the outliner, even. So we'll do that. And I guess we will butter up to one of our subject states. Probably the coastal one first. They should be fairly equal, I think, but that's okay. Okay, uh, let's let let's get this show on the road, shall we? Well, I suppose I could always mothball the army while we wait for uh, our actual money to come in. The mothball navy cost us zero point eleven. Ah, okay, in that case, it's going to be too much money. Away with the cogs. Oh dear! So we get a new trait: loose lips. Yeah, well, not exactly what I'd. Wanted. I think we're gonna go with the diplomatic rep guy. He could be useful to us. Especially if we're somehow able to swing them into our favor. Ah, both our subjects want to marry. That is okay with me. Oh, we got a queen. Which is also a new thing. An infertile queen. Well, that's not good. We can't divorce, apparently. But I mean, that's okay. Our air is going to be fine, and by the looks of it, we're going to go exploration, if we get that far. That's going to take a while, though. It really irks me. Yeah, we are so far behind on tech. Um... Okay, so I have to pay 25 ducats in order to boost relations with... Oh, darn it! So the queen costs us money. Is that it? And if we don't, we're gonna have reduced opinion of... everyone that... and both are subjects. And that's not good. 
but we kind of need that money. So, event broken promises. Yeah, that's fine, but also, what does the event do? <laughs> and what would we get in return? No, never. So they're gonna hate us for that, but that's okay. That's gonna go away before... Oh, outrageous demands. Okay, interesting. That's gonna go away before we get into trouble, I think. But yeah, so you allied Kasanji down there. You also allied Kalundwe. Uh, who would want to be friends with us, huh? Kuba would come in, and they are a uh, rebel to Kaludwe. So Lunda would join us if we wanted to, Kuba. Pretty much anybody, anyone would join us as allies. Let's see, is there any chance of vassalizing them? No. So, let's have a quick look who's the stronger power in our area. Lunda is actually fairly strong. 7,000, that's okay. Luba, 6,000, and the other ones are pretty much around there too. But Lunda has a lot of enemies. A lot of enemies. We might want to butter up to Kuba instead. They wouldn't join a war, though. I don't know. And we have... Are we at our force limit? That's the next question. We are not, so... I suppose we'll have to do with that. Do something with that. Spending all our precious money. Going up the force limit. I'd rather not spend points recruiting a general, but uh, losing this guy could be bad. So we'll see. Uh, times of need. The dynasty of our noble king Lukeni is certainly a powerful one, though Nkubu through Nkuvu, they rule our nation and will do so for many years to come. However, even the greatest greatest are sometimes in need of help. Thankfully, the Lukeni family has tied strong bonds to other great powers, such as Ngola House, led by none other than Aizingo, chief of Ndongo. His gracious wife Jetta is a daughter of our own royal house and an invaluable contact. Perhaps we shall ask her... If she can influence her husband to lend us a hand. So we can ask them for money. Uh, we can ask them for administration. Oh, we can ask them for points. Or we can just take a flat out prestige. Hmm. So we're basically bribing our subject. Four points. And I assume it can backfire because they're going to get an event. I'm going to go with this and see what happens. I mean, just taking the prestige would have been nice too, but we could have brought us back to zero, but uh, yeah. So we're improving relations with TO. And fabricating on our dear friend here. I don't want to start any alliances until I'm ready to declare war. Though I suspect they would be better off. Yeah, I was expecting that. Broken promises. They would not go for it. And so our relations drop again. Oh well. But that's fine. It was worth a shot. We're making money just barely. 
I suppose we could mothball the forge, but we are gaining some slight army tradition out of that, I think. No, actually we're not. We're losing army tradition. Even with the fort active. No, that's ugly. Maybe we should... Oh, it's just a capital fort. Well, then we can't even... Can't mothball anything. Never mind, then. Uh, in that case, we might as well roll a leader right now. One, two, two. Uh, not excellent. Not terrible, either. And that is as far as we're going to go this episode. We just started, but we're going to see if we can actually succeed with this. We're nowhere near great power status, but... <laughs> all in due time, we will become the African power. Eventually. So, until then, thank you for watching. And if you enjoy watching this campaign, please like and subscribe. Because that helps out a great deal. So, let's see where we end up next time.